Sadnam, I'm Guru Dev Singh, and I'd like to welcome you to this short video on behalf of CareEye. As you know, in a few days, we're going to have the Global CareEye Summit. And the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the process and the methodology that we're going to be using during the three days of the meeting. If you watch it, you will come better prepared and it will enhance your experience during the summit. I hope you enjoy it. First, let me discuss a brief overview of the summit. The summit has been carefully organized around three seed ideas, connect, engage, and lead. These three words are the seeds of intention for each one of the days of the summit. Day one is about connection. We will get to know one another and build a container of understanding that allows for open, creative dialogue. Day two is about engagement, and we will use a tool called Open Space Technology, which you might be familiar with. Everyone will have the chance to propose topics that are near and dear to them, and this will set the agenda for the rest of the day and the next day. We're hoping that these discussions will be engaging and very fruitful and that they will become the starting point for how we as a community choose to move forward. Day three will continue with open space and we will ask ourselves, how do we want to lead our communities into the future? This video is a short introduction of how space, open space technology works, which we'll be using on day two and three. CareEye has selected open space technology because it is one of the most powerful ways of creating self-organized meetings. It is consistent with our goals of letting every voice be heard and to help us to find our way in building our shared future. Understanding open space is easy and it is very helpful if you get familiarized with the process. Since we're doing this online, there are a few points that I would like to share with you so that you can keep in mind. The first thing that is convenient to understand is that you and all the summit participants will be able to propose topics that are close to you and to your heart. You will be able to propose one topic, several topics, or not propose anything at all. So how will we post topics? At the end of the first day of the summit, the facilitator team will give you instructions of how to post your proposed topic. Please note, for example, that if you and I submitted a similar topic, the facilitation team will group meetings that have similar topics if it is needed. By day two, the facilitator team will have created a bulletin board in a Google document. You will have a link to that document the bulletin board is where you can see all the meetings that are happening at a particular time. There's a link to the bulletin board in your meeting guides document. You will be able to see the bulletin board and choose the meeting that you want to attend, as well as the time and the day that it will be held. The first column of the bulletin board is the name of the meeting, which is also the name of the meeting in the Zoom room. There is a separate video that tells you how to navigate from one meeting to another using Zoom. This column has your name if you proposed that topic or the names of those who proposed a similar topic. If you propose a topic, it is important that you attend the meeting. This column is a short description of what this meeting is all about. These columns will let us know what day and time the meetings will be taking place. These meetings will be held in Zoom rooms. And the Zoom room meeting rooms will reflect the names of the meetings that are being held at the current time. Every meeting will have a Sutra page. This column gives you a link to the Sutra page that is related to a particular meeting. At the beginning of every meeting, you should assign someone to write a summary of the discussions that happened in that Zoom room. This will let us continue with the discussions beyond the meeting time 
and will let us all open space let all open space participants review the notes of different meetings. Open space works on four EC principles. The first one is that the meeting starts whenever it starts. So if it starts a few minutes late or it gets postponed, that is okay as long as it's reflected in the bulletin board. The second point is that the meeting ends whenever it's over. This is a very important principle because it means that there are meetings that might take 10 minutes and that's going to be enough, or there are meetings that are going to take more than two hours. Whatever time is needed is the time that will happen. The third principle is whoever comes is whoever needed to be there. Nobody is obligated at any point to be in any one meeting. And the fourth principle is that whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. In other words, that was exactly what needed to happen. And we need to trust that experience. Open space is held together by one law. It's called the law of the two feet which goes like this. If during the meeting you find yourself in a situation where you are neither learning nor contributing, use your two feet and go to a more productive meeting. This gives us the liberty to go from one meeting to another or not participate at all. If there are no topics that interest you in a particular moment, take your two feet and go to the yogi tea room hang out there with others, and shoot the breeze. This uh, meeting room will be labeled Yogi Tea Room in the, uh, in the Zoom list of meetings. A couple of things that are important to take into account. It is okay to be a bumblebee and to move from one meeting to another. It is said that by doing so, we're cross-pollinating ideas from one little group to another. It is also okay to be a butterfly, and that means hanging around in a yogi tea room. And it's even okay to go take a nap. Open space technology meetings can be exciting, engaging, healing, transformative, interesting. They can even be fun. I hope that all of us can have this experience and that this will help us to find our path towards the future. Please consult your master guidelines document that has been sent by KRI if you have any questions about what is going to happen during the meetings and where to find all the information that you need. Satnam.